Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to Let's Play Penumbra Black Plague. <laughs> Ooh, more batteries. Okay, so we escaped the sewers and made it here. As for where here is, I'm not 100% sure. Although I will say that the load file, the save file, sorry, said uh, Dr. Swanson's room. Not sure who that is. Although the fuse box is rusty and worn, it seems to be working. Okay. Eh. Oh. Um. Um. Bingo. Incoming video chat. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello? Can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a what? virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. Hmm. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting... strangely when I last saw him. Oh. Hmm. What else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Present and accounted for. Did, um. did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Oh God. Enough already. My sides are splitting. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the ship. Damn it. Jot down note just in case. Turngate virus field notes. Annabelle Swanson. Infection process. The worst thing about my job... Death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the old mess hall. Research subjects, three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of this virus, becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before, just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle course. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force, shortly after which we lose them for good. If these experiences are, as they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur were the patient to escape the hallucination. Additional note. Today, Dr. Eminis confided in me that he has had just such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Okay, so still kind of no real clue what the hell's going on. It's not really helping that much. Save again. Every time it's harder to pull out. Every time I feel more of myself inside. Infected. I'd skipped a beat when I heard that word in association with me. 
Still, it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either, but by that point, I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. Maybe. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet I find myself at a loss. Uh. Any ideas, monkey? Oh God, my head. Oh God! Lord. Stop it! Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? Three thousand one hundred and three and a half films you've seen? You only got the first half of it's a wonderful life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. You know, Clarence. That's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. You done? You gonna let you gonna let me get up? Oh god. You son of a bitch. Something blocking door on the other side. It's either locked or jammed shut, either way I'm not going to get through. Fine. Well shit. Where the hell can I go? Computer Central Infirmary Storage. Map of the area. Okay, so I came from there. Which means that door should actually be... here Oop, batteries Nothing What Looks like there's some sheets of paper framed behind the glass. Maybe I can get them out. Oh, really? Well, I mean, fair enough. If you want them, I guess. I mean... An illustrious past and exciting future. The Archaic, a history spanning centuries. As a member of the Archaic, you are part of an organization vital to the protection of the human species. If you are not a member of the Archaic, please turn yourself in to the nearest community-supported officer. The Archaic, as we now know it, was founded in 1519 by Francesco Melzi, a Milanese noble. The foundation of the movement, assumed erroneously by some to be a sect, was the private work of Leonardo di, per di Ser Piero da Vinci. Revealed to his most trusted student, Melzi, on his deathbed. Many rumors circulated at the time pertaining towards a sexual relationship between the two, and this was an explanation of their for their secrecy they were quite happy to embrace. Much is held to be known of da Vinci's engineering work, though in truth the few sketches and notes in the public domain only begin to touch on the depth of his knowledge. First, for instance, it is often said that he said in his... <clears throat> Excuse me. For instance, it is often said of his designs for flying machines that they were entirely impractical. We realize now that they are only impractical when limited by human production materials. The Archaic remained unnamed for centuries. Melzi and his successors understood the power of a name to identify and tie down its owner. And even today, Archaic remains an unofficial and internal term. As we enter the 21st century, the Archaic performs much the same role as it always has, to locate, understand, and protect Xeno evidence and life forms, albeit on a far greater scale. Today our movement is served by over 30,000 devoted members at 203 installations worldwide. Well, alright then.
So the other side of that door should be over here. Aha! Nice. Unblocked. Okay, I now have a straightway. Door won't open, there doesn't seem to lock. It's labeled ID3061. Maybe something I can use? Maybe. Um, where am I now? Right there. Okay, what's over here? Jammed or locked, can't get through. Uh, let's try around the corner. Aha! Savaged, infected, terrified. And now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Even me. Regardless, I needed to find a way through and into the library. <coughs> hmm. Uh, hello? What the hell? Some broken cables. Shelves contain various manuals, spare parts, and other computer-related material. Perhaps I can find something that helps me understand how the stuff here works. Server installation quick start guide. The most common cause of frustration during the installation process is the use of incorrectly formatted circuit cards. Please ensure boot, network, and interface cards are functioning correctly with default programs installed before continuing. Excuse me. Required circuit cards, program count listed in brackets, boot 3, collates basic disk drive and hardware configuration data, network 5, uses advanced communication drives to allow access to any local intranet or hub network, comes with all the latest security protocols, interface 4, come, carries all programs required in server and file access, in addition to high level direct hardware access. Circuit card compatible programs. Circuit setup, required installation to get any program running. Disk info setup, collates disk in, uh, hardware locator, collates hardware, socket protocol, firewall, antivirus, CMD interface, net locator, blah 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 blah. By popular demand, the server no longer requires the latest version of Windows in order to function correctly. Oh boy. Well that's an old joke. used to be racks for circuit cards. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Painkillers, painkillers. No card was found in slot. Okay. Piece of, this piece of equipment does not have much details beyond a slot, and I am not sure what would fit into it. Oop, more batteries. Good. Good, 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 good. What the? Okay. Terminal is broken beyond repair. Huh. Okay. There's not really much in here. What's over here? What? Deposit box. I remember why oh. we're here. A Dr. Swanson has healed me in. Hello? I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an inflection in her tone that suggested she no longer trusted me. 
Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago? Uh, would she think that? I... we share the same history. You and I are history. I recall... I recall the day of my birth, 18th of September, 1964, 3.46993412, recurring minutes past nine. I remember um. my mother looking surprised as I poked my head out into the world for the first time. You need a security registered palm, something I can provide. You need it at the library, something beyond my reach. When I became infected by those mindless zombies, I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Oh. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a saw. I uh. recall seeing one on my first day here. Three years ago, climate change of 10 degrees over the past one million years. Walk east and take the first door on your right. Uh. There are others. He's like you like us yet he is not us why is he separate and yet we are bound together are we truly a we or are we simply an eye with two faces but i am no monkey uh sorry clarence i don't know what the hell you're talking about Clarence said, uh, look, I don't know who you are, but would you mind getting the hell out of my head? That'd be very kind of you. Very nice, very polite. Um. Okay, so I'm looking for a saw? Machine room. Probably. But I can't be sure. Yeah. Library, machine room, and infirmary. Ooh, an armory. Ammunition. Okay. Oh, there's a saw. There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Oh. Had a tetanus jab recently. I heard something. Okay. So one of those things is out there. I don't have a pickaxe anymore, among other things. Uh, Hide among the shadows. Um. Maybe I can. Does he give a damn about sound? He 
closed it. Oh. You're naked. You are quite naked, sir. I think he's coming back. Ha ha! Got past you. Ha 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 ha! I made it! I made it! I made it! I made it! Uh, that's not the right way. I want to go back to our room and save. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, saving. <clears throat> okay. So now we need to... Okay. So he's up around there. Now what's number five? Storage. Eight is emergency airlock, and then six is the machine room. Okay. Okay, so that's the airlock. Sir? Did he go away? Did he actually go away? in storage. Although, maybe I should go back with that saw. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Hi. There seems to be someone living in that room. What happened to him? I can't really see from here. Damn it. Beams will trigger the explosives for sure. Better stay out of their way. This block the no fair enough oh wait a minute wait a minute wait I think I know what I can do haha -ha. we're gonna be creative come here hey buddy uh, no 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 you get up there I need another.
Well, crap. Fudge that up. Okay. We're gonna give this just a quick try. See if we can get this to work. Get up there. Okay. Ooh, don't want to back into the beams. That would be a very bad thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. What? Huzzah. Ah, crap. There we go. There we go. Made it across. Look here. Ow. It seems, yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. Hate to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Uh, meaning? Whoa. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve. Uh-huh. Look, weirdo. Stop screwing around my head. Looks heavy and welded shut. Okay. We will say there's one in Alaska. Man, I'm gonna need to end the episode now in a second. Oh. Strange artifact. Okay. Don't know what that's for. What? Oh. What the hell? Can I... Can I crawl under this thing? Ow! Well, that killed me. Let me let me just try something really quick and then I'm gonna end the episode. Yeah. Fine. You don't want to play nice? Fine then. Eh. We're going to see if we can get on top of that thing.
Damn it, I need a little more height. Well, shit. Get back up there. Thank you. There we go. Ha! What, I can't? Was there no way to make this fall down? Power switch. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Holy crap, I am running over by a fair bit. Well, by a little bit. But I'm so curious. I wanna... I can't... Why can't I... Really? Apparently I need to get up higher. There we go. Oh! And a... Save point. All right, they're still inside. I'm still inside, but I don't want to get out. Okay, we'll take a look at that later. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. Check out links in the description for Penumbra Black Plague on Steam. There's also a few links there if you wish to contact me more directly, follow me on Twitter, anything like that, feel free to do so. And in the next part, well, we'll see what the hell there is to find around here. Because honestly, I'm not sure why I needed to come here. But I'm hoping it'll become clear soon enough. Also, whatever the hell that thing was out there. Maybe that's the final stage of the infection. Either way. Until then, though. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day. And I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>